Skip demo of this video tutorial. In this tutorial, we will discuss how to implement Angular 2 code operations using two-way data binding without a database. This is the final output of this tutorial. You can insert new employee like this. Click on submit. Newly added record can be seen here. If you want to edit the record, select the record, then update the information here. Click on submit. So here we updated the employee record. If you want to delete the record, select the employee, then click on delete here. So I hope you will find this tutorial as a material to understand data binding in Angular 2. Both unidirectional and two-way data binding in Angular 2. So please watch till the end of this video tutorial. What's up YouTube? Welcome to .NET Mom. In this tutorial, we will create Angular 2 application for code operations like insert, update and delete without database that means data in this application is non persistent that means after refreshing the web page newly added record will be gone the main agenda of this tutorial is to understand data binding in angular 2 like unidirectional binding and two way data binding before starting this video tutorial i would like to ask you a favor if you found this video helpful please thumbs up this video if you are new here, please be subscribed to this channel .NET Mob. Without further ado, let's get started. This is my Visual Studio code. I will be using this VS code as an IDE for this application development. Apart from this, I have installed npm node.js, then TypeScript and Angular CLI. I hope you have installed these packages in your system also. Now we are going to create a fresh Angular 2 application in this folder. For that, I am going to open my command prop in administrator. Then set current directory as this one. For that, you can use the command cd then provide this file directory here. Or you can use a shortcut in Windows. I don't know if there is any shortcut like this in Linux or Mac. In Windows, you can do this hold shift then right click. Then click on this open command window here. So now we are in this project directory. Now we need to create a fresh Angular 2 application. For that you can use this command ng new then name of the application. I will name it as Angular 2 crude. Click enter. It will create a folder with name Angular 2 crude. Inside that it will add basic files for the fresh application. It will take some time to complete this process. So I will post this recording after installation is completed. I will resume the recording. So here we created the application successfully. Now we need to run this application. Before that, let me change the directory as this folder Angular 2 crude. Click enter. Let's run this application. For that, you can use this command ng serve so, double hyphen open click enter this is how the fresh angular 2 application looks like project source code for the application can be seen inside this folder src if you change any one of these files code here automatically this application will be updated here now we need to create this application from scratch using this vs code editor for that let me copy this folder location from here and then click on file, open folder, paste the file directory here, click enter, then click on select folder. So here we open Angular 2 project inside this VS code. Source code for this application can be seen inside this folder src here. Then expand app folder. Here you can see the default component inside Angular 2 applications as app component.js. This component is decorated with template URL that means HTML for this component as app component.html. Here is the file app component.html. These HTML codes are responsible for this view right here. Apart from this template URL, here we have the style sheet URLs in order to specify style sheet for this component. For now, we have one style sheet app component.css. Here is the file. For now, this file is empty. Inside this style sheet file, I'm going to copy paste few CSS rules that I have already created for this application here. Now back to app component. Here we have a property title. 
if you check the HTML file, okay, we have used the title here. Now I'm going to remove the title property from the component. And we need to edit this HTML file here. I will remove this much codes here. And we don't need this image here. I will remove that also. I want to set this h1 as angular to crude app. Now let me save all of these files here. Inside the browser, you can see that application is updated automatically. Now back to the component file here. In this application, we are going to deal with employee details. So I am going to create a class for the employee here. Export class as employee. Inside that, we have to pass the properties for this class. First of all, we have employee ID. Employee ID as number then we have employee code as string finally employee name as string now i will declare a constant employee array here employee array I will initialize this employee array with three employee details. Now inside this app component class, I will create a property to store this constant array. Employee collection is equal to employee array. Now we need to show this employee array inside this application. So let's look how we can do that. For that, open the HTML app component.html. First of all, I will add an UL element here. Class is equal to employee list. Inside that, we will add li elements. Li. For that, we will iterate through the employee collection here. So we can do that using ng4. Star ng4 is equal to let employee of employee collection let me copy this and pasting here so inside this li element we can add the employee name and employee code span class is equal to badge here we can show the id of employee so I will do this employee dot employee ID. After that, we will add employee code and employee name. So let me copy this and paste in here hyphen employee name code then name. Now let me save this and check the application in browser. So here we have listed three employees from employee array here. CSS for the styling of this list is given inside the style sheet here. Now we are going to implement on click event for this li elements here. For that we can do this go to the HTML file here then add the event click for this li element like this. Click is equal to then we will call a function here open for edit inside this function we will pass a parameter as this employee object let me copy this and paste in here now we need to create this function inside the component file here so let me copy this function name from here and we can do this open for edit we have a parameter for this function employee is of the type class employee return type of this function is void we will save this selected employee object into a new object inside this application for that i am going to create an object here selected employee it's of the type employee class now I'm going to initialize this object like this employee ID is equal to zero then code will be empty string 
the name of employee will be empty string when user click on any one of this li element here we will save the corresponding employee details object into the object here for that we can do this this dot selected employee is equal to employee so we will save the past employee details into this object here now i'm going to create a div to update these properties here code and name for that i will do this div class is equal to employee form now i'm going to add an input text box for these two fields code and name for that we can do this input now we are going to use the two way data binding in angular 2 ng model is equal to let me copy this object name from here selected employee then paste the object here dot code now we'll add a css class here class is equal to text box then i will set the placeholder here as code so this will add a text box for the employee code here after that we need to add a line break now let me copy this and pasting below that now this one is for the employee name so i will edit this code as name here name placeholder will be name now let me save this and check our browser here here you can see nothing if you inspect the browser you can see that there might be some errors because we have not specified this module for this ng model in order to use this module we have to use the angular forms module inside the application so go to the app module.cs file now we have to import forms module here import from let me copy this and pasting here instead of core we will use forms now give the module name here forms module right here now we need to add this module inside this import array here now let's check the application so here we can see the input controls that we have just added for employee code and name if you click on this item here you can see that selected employee informations are listed inside these input controls so that we have done here when we select an item from this ally element here it will call the function open for edit so here is the function open for edit it will set the selected employee details into this object selected employee using this object we have created a div here inside that we have added two text boxes for employee and employee code so this is what we call two-way data binding in angular 2 and this one is called unidirectional data binding in angular 2 so here we display the employee id inside this batch here one two three if you change the value of employee id inside component that value will be changed here in this view in case of two-way data binding if you change the value of property selected employee code and selected employee name in component that change will be seen here also in the same way if you change the value of input text box here the same changes will be applied in component also so that is why we call them as two-way data binding first of all if we select an item from this li element we need to set the class for this li as selected for that we can do this go to the li element here then we can add the class here class dot selector we will add the class selector if this employee that means this employee is equal to selected employee selected employee let me save this and check the application here i will select the first one so here you can see that this li element got a class selected now if you click on this second item you can see that class is under for this second item here 
Now I am going to add a button with label submit after these two text boxes. So I will do this. Go to the HTML file, then we can add a button here. Button button text will be submit. Let me save this and check the application here. So here we have the submit button. Using this div input elements, I will do the insert and update operations. By default, there is no selected employee inside this div input elements. So we will do the insert operation. When we select an item from this list, we will do the update operation. So I am going to add a label to identify the operation whether it is insert or update. So we will be adding the label using condition like this. First of all, we will add a label above all of these input elements here and we have to set the label text like this. For that, I will use the condition here. If selected employee dot employee ID is equal to zero, then we can say that this is an insert operation. So I will set the text as insert employee. Otherwise, we can say that this is an update operation. Update employee. Let me save this and check the application here. So here you can see that default label text is insert employee since employee ID is zero. When we select an item from this list, label text will be changed to update employee. Now I'm going to add a line break after this label here. So we can add the BR element here. Let me check the application here. So it looks fine now. In order to implement insert and update operation, I'm going to add click event for this button here. So let's add the click event here. Click function name will be add or edit. Now we need to define this function inside the component here. Function name is add or edit. We don't have any parameter for this function. Return type of this function will be void. Inside the function, first of all, we will check if this dot selected employee dot employee ID is equal to zero or not. If it is equal to zero, we can say that this is an insert operation. In order to add new employee information into the collection, employee collection, we can do this. This dot employee collection dot push and we will push this object into employee collection like this. Before this operation, we have to update this employee ID. For new employees, employee ID will be zero and we have to set the employee ID to the next maximum employee ID from the list. For that we will do this, this dot selected employee dot employee ID is equal to math dot max dot apply. As a first parameter we will pass the math interface then we can do this, this dot employee collection dot map. Inside that we will define a function to return the employee ID. We have a parameter x and here we need to return the employee id like this x dot employee id. So this will give the maximum employee id from the employee collection. Finally we have to add one to the result here. So here we updated the employee id to the next maximum employee id. For update operation we don't have to do anything when we change the employee information here same changes will be applied in the component employee collection because we have shown these controllers using two-way data binding at the end of this function at the end of this function i will reset the object selected employee is equal to let me copy this code from here and paste in here so with this function add or edit we have implemented insert and update operation we have called this add or edit function inside the click event of this button here sorry here we have missed a pair of parentheses so i will add it here 
now save all of these files here go to file then save all now let's check the application here now i'm going to add new employee into this list here click on submit newly added employee can be seen here if you want to edit an employee record select the record then update the informations here click on submit so here you can see the updated employee record finally we are going to implement delete operation inside this div here for that i will add a delete button beside this submit button in case of insert operation there won't be any delete button and we select an item from this list we can show the delete button here so we want to add a button when employee id is not equal to zero for that we can do this button button text will be deleted now we want to add the condition for showing this button ng if is equal to selected employee dot employee id not equal to zero then we will show this button let me save this and check the application here by default you can't see the delete button here if i select an item from this list you can see the delete button now i'm going to add click event for this button so i will add the event here click then we will call the function delete here now let's define this function inside the component here function name will be delete return type will be void inside that we will do the delete operation for the selected employee selected employee object is stored inside this object here so we can do this this dot employee collection is equal to this dot employee collection employee collection dot filter x such that x not equal to this dot selected employee so this will return all of the employee except the employee which is not equal to selected employee object finally we have to reset this object this dot selected employee so let me copy this line from here and pasting here now let me save all of these files here and check the application here now let me delete this employee here fiona green click on delete so here we deleted the record for fiona green in this tutorial we have discussed how to implement angular 2 crude operations using two-way data binding without a database if you found this video helpful please thumbs up this video if you are new here please be subscribed to this channel dotnet more you can download this project source code from the link given below in video description please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this have a nice day bye